All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out another Discord music bot called Soul Music, which appears to be 100% free with different customization options and those filters a lot of people like, as well as all of the commands that I think you would come to expect and use when it comes to pretty much every music bot under the sun. And this bot was recommended to me by Faceless Assassin, so if you see them in the comment section, be sure to say hello and check out their stuff. So, to get started, all you have to do is click on this big blue Invite Bot button. It's also available from their website, soulmusic.pro, or from the Soul Music page on top.gg. Although I think this page is a little outdated because it's got some like the old logo, and then their website's got like this nice little S that's clean. And then once you've got that, they've got a list of all the commands that you can use here on their website. If you go to the command section, and you can just pop in to your server and start using it almost immediately. So most music bots in general, when you want to use them, they like it when you're already in a voice chat channel, because if you're not in there, how can you listen to the music sort of a deal? And then we can start out by typing slash help, and it'll give us some information about the bot. It would be nice just to get like a basic set of commands in the help command, so I know kind of like where to get started and what commands do what. But this also takes you to the server where you can find all of the stuff on the website, so that's not that big a deal. You can click this to like find out more mu information about all sorts of stuff like settings, music, info, and more. Okay, I guess you can just click on the music search here and brings up a list of all the different commands for that, but you can also just, again, go on to their website and see all the commands as well if you need them. I'm going to start out with searching for my typical NCS music, and then this op gives you a bunch of options, and you can select which option you want to play with the pull-down menu below. I think I'm going to go with number two, the 15-minute one, I always just kind of default to using NCS music because it won't get me flagged on YouTube, if anyone's seen a few of these reviews and is curious. And from there we can just continue to either search for music or go like onto YouTube and grab links to put back in here. Like if we open up this right here, I can go to YouTube and then we can just search for like NCS and then just grab some random video like this one here and we can just slap this into our queue so we can be like slash play space this link unless I didn't quite do that right looks like I didn't there we go so now that's added to the queue and we can go slash queue to see what is currently playing and what is up next in the queue and if I wanted to, I could then skip to that next song. So like, slash skip. And then it'll start playing the next one by Yim Yosef. And everybody, uh, the Destiny song. And then if we want, we can then search up yet another NCS song if we wanted to. But like we can do number four this time. And then that'll cue that up, and then we can go ahead and skip right to that. And so, boom, you have pretty easy control over that, and you can also use these buttons below the music player to start, stop, put the volume up or down, use the autoplay feature and all that. You can do all of those things at pretty much any time. So I kind of like that. So let's go back and look at the different music commands. We can join, grab, forward move track pause play play to the top of the queue you can also loop this for free which i like some of, it's been weird looking at some of the features that some music bots put as premium because some of those seem like basic functions to me whereas like other ones seem like something that maybe only people who really want to pay for the bot would use and so there's are there are some other modes here Let's close this there are some other things here, like you can set a DJ mode. This means that only DJs can control the various controls for the bot. 
if you find people grief the bot or mess with each other a lot, you can then go in and set a DJ role so that only they have the ability to do that. So we can go set DJ, and then we can be like, uh, add, and then the role is at DJ. So now that is the only DJ role, and then I can say DJ mode. And when I enable DJ mode, only the DJs, and it'll tell you who it is, like what roles have it, um, only they can then control what the bot does and also admins, because I think most of these bots default to listening to admins regardless of what you set, what you want. And then we can disable DJ mode by just entering that again. I know with other bots, some people have been reporting that people can't control them if they're not a DJ. Just make sure your DJ mode is turned off if you don't want to use that. It happens sometimes. And then there's also filters if you want to mess around with that. Let's check out the filters. Let's go slash chipmunk. Or is under slash filter chipmunk. There it goes. So that might pause it briefly and then reload the song with a chipmunk filter going. Yeah, there it goes. It took it a moment. Slash clear. Filter. Clear. Clear all filters. You can also set 24-7 mode. 24-7 mode just means that the bot will just sit there in the channel, either continuing to play music with no one there, or you can set like a looping queue. Or you can just let it sit there waiting for people, like it's already there just waiting for you to ask it to play a song. Your, your choice, really. Um, I personally don't like it when these sit in a channel unused, but you have the option, clearly, of doing all of that stuff. And then what other kinds of settings do we have for the bot, just out of curiosity before we move on. So we've got 24-7. You can turn on or off the fact that it announces what it's playing right now, or if it just kind of runs quietly in the background unless you ask it something. You can prune songs or automatic pruning of songs. So if there's like duplicates or whatever, or nasty songs, it'll kind of nip those out of there. You've got... Spotify, oh, so it can play off of Spotify as well, it looks like. And you can set a specific voice channel if you want it to only function in one voice channel, which is actually kind of nice. I, I like that a little bit. And then, yeah, that's actually kind of neat. What about general info? So for info, there's what is DJ mode is currently active, help, inviting the bot to another server, ping, Status, uptime, and vote. Okay, so voting, you can vote on top.gg. If you like this bot, you should definitely go do that since it is 100% free. The rest of these are things like what's the current lag time between you and the bot over Discord. Uptime is like how long has the bot been running, that sort of thing. But yeah, so this has all of the different basic controls I think you're going to want and need, as, as well as the ability to add filters for free which is something that a lot of bots lock behind a paywall. And then you also have some limited, more administrative commands that you can limit people to only being able to play the music if they're a DJ, setting different DJ roles, setting a specific channel for it to function in, and all of that sort of stuff. You can also change the prefix, but since the bot has moved on to using slash commands, that might be a little redundant. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a look at Soul Music. It's completely free. Uh, they do ask for donations if you enjoy using the service and and or vote for them on top.gg. I hope you've enjoyed this. All you have to really do to get it working is invite it and play some music or search for it. So that'll be it. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.